Welcome to Theory of Pets. I'm a passionate pet owner with a drive to help others like me uncover the truth about the pet industry and what goes on behind the scenes. Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of Theory of Pets. This is a podcast that has to do with everything about pets. I like to dig into the pet industry and answer some of those questions that have been driving us all crazy. I love taking your suggestions and trying to get answers to some of the questions that you have as well. I really encourage you guys to jump on our website, which is theoryofpets.com. You can have access to all the past podcast episodes that I've done, and there's also a link there to leave comments, either typed comments or you can record comments or questions, concerns that I may use in future podcasts. And I would also really encourage you guys and hope that you will take a minute to jump on iTunes and leave me a review if you like this podcast. Those positive reviews help me when I reach out to experts in the industry to try and get our questions answered. The more positive reviews, the more viewers uh, or listeners, I guess in this case that I have, the better and the easier it is for me to reach out to people and get them to come on the podcast. So please take a second to do that. And today, speaking of reaching out to experts in the industry, I spoke with James Andrews, who is the creator of a health monitor. It's a new health monitor that's hitting the market. And his company is called Felcana. Now, the health monitor that he has is similar to traditional activity trackers for pets, but it offers some really great benefits that other products don't offer as well. So when you think of activity monitors, certain things probably come to mind like monitoring your dog's activity level, how much he sleeps, um, maybe monitoring the time that he spends inside or outside, things like that, which are surely beneficial. Falcona kind of takes it up a notch. Um, And this is a new product. It hasn't actually hit the market yet. Right now they are wrapping up a Kickstarter campaign and uh, they are only about $5,000 short of their goal as of today, which is um, when I'm recording this podcast, it's November 1st. And uh, so they've got a couple of weeks left to go and they're fairly certain that they're going to meet their goal. Um, Anybody that backs them, those first models should be being sent out for beta testers in the summer of 2017. And uh, later next year, about this time next year, right before Christmas, they are hoping to release their product on the market to hit store shelves. So uh, Felcana might be something that you're looking for to buy for the dog or dog owner on your list or pet owner, I should say, because they work for cats too, uh, next Christmas. So I, again, spoke with uh, James today, and I'm going to let you guys go ahead and listen to that interview because there's a lot of great beneficial information in there about the company and how that came about, as well as um, health monitors and the importance of those as well. I just I'll start out by just welcoming you to the podcast the theory of pets we're excited to have you um, and I'll ask you first to just tell me a little bit about Falcona and how you came up with the idea for the company yeah of course so, so it's, it's great to be uh, be on the podcast and uh, we, we f- first started building Falcona um, early in 2016 uh, Falcona is an ecosystem of connected devices for pets for their owners and for vets. And what it is, is a network of, of small devices that you can either place on your dog or your cat and beacons that you install around your home. You can place them anywhere you like, next to your water bowl, next to your dog's basket, next to your dog's flap, if he has a you know, dog flap to go outside into the yard. And both the device that, that you put onto your dog's collar and the beacons enable us to know a lot of information about your dog's behavior, um, his activity levels, how much water they're drinking, how much time they're spending in bed. And that's incredibly useful for pet owners because it gives them more information on, on what their dog's up to. It can help them with early identification of diseases, so things like arthritis which is quite common in dogs um, we can we can use both the activity monitoring 
in our device that goes on the dog collar, but also the information coming out of our micro location beacon. So, you know, for example, one next to the dog's bed um, to say your dog is, is starting to do a little bit less um, activity. Maybe he's not running quite as quick as, 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 as he used to, and he's spending a little bit more time in bed. And we can use that to, to identify an early signs of, of diabetes. And the reason we're building Melkana is, is primarily because we're a team of veterinarians. So I'm a, I'm a veterinarian myself, and I practiced and spent a long time treating dogs and cats. And while I was doing that, I realized that it's really, really hard for vets to get good information about the patients they're treating. So it's really hard to get accurate information from pet owners because you normally ask them questions when you're taking a history. And you ask them questions such as, have you noticed your dog being you know, less active? Have you noticed him slowing down a bit in the, in the yard? Have you noticed your dog drinking more water, eating less food? Those sorts of questions. And often pet owners don't really know. Sometimes they think they know, but then when you really dive into the details and ask more specific questions, they, they don't. And so we realize we can use technology and the technology we're building at Falcana to really answer those questions and help vets diagnose disease in, in dogs and cats as well uh, more quickly and therefore treat dogs more, more effectively. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. I mean, especially for pet parents that, um, you know, I'm thankful that I work from home and I can be with our dogs all the time. So it's easier sometimes for me to notice if their behavior is a little bit off. But especially if you're out of the house for hours every day, you know, it's nice to have technology tracking your dog's behaviors and looking out for those signs and symptoms when you're not available. Absolutely. And it also has, we, we built in a few, extra um, pieces of functionality into Falcona to make it really cool as well. So we put onto, onto the, the device that goes on your dog's collar a light, and you can use that light if you're walking your dog at night, and you can take your smart, the smart Falcona smartphone app and switch the light on, and you can either have the light always on, or you can have it flashing so that you can see your dog, your dog at night when you're walking him in the park or down the road and you don't have to worry about them as much because you can see exactly where they are all the time. Sure, that's a benefit. I live in a very rural, we are very much out in the country and a lot of um, pet owners own lots of acres of land so that um, beacon would also be really helpful too if you let your dog out at night just to be able to to keep track of them in your yard if you have a big yard. So that, that's a wonderful addition. And absolutely. And the, yeah, another thing you can, you can use our, our Belkana system for is monitoring your your dog walker so having someone come into your home when you're at work and take Fido out for half an hour an hour is becoming increasingly more common and you, you don't know if if the dog walker is taking your dog out for half an hour like they should be or actually just going around the corner with your dog and having a coffee for 10 minutes and then bringing them back and you can use our, our Falcana uh, system including the smartphone app to, to check that the dog walker is coming at the right time and they are walking your dog for the, the right length of time as well. Oh, that's excellent. I, that's something I would not have thought of, but that's a wonderful feature as well. Is the the um, beacons as well as the device that goes on the collar, are they um, like water resistant or waterproof? Are they good for outdoor use? Yeah, we spent a lot of time making sure that um, all of the Falcana products are extraordinarily durable. As, as we know, uh, dogs can, can really put um, put things through their, their, their paces. Sure. We, need make, we need to make sure that uh, not only are they waterproof, because dogs like to jump in lakes and things like that, uh, but we need to make sure that they're very strong and, ru and rugged too, so that when your dog's running through undergrowth or you know, even sort of chewing on, on it, um, if, if they were to do that, the, the that the Falcana devices would stamp all of that sort of stuff. So they're incredibly durable. Wonderful. That's great to know. And we've already talked a little bit about some of the things that make um, Falcana sort of stand out, I think, uh, 
we had talked about how technology, you know, is increasing. It seems like every day there's new products on the, the market. So we're seeing some similar types of products, some activity monitors. Um, and I know that you had mentioned uh, the beacon and the durability. Are there any other things that make Falcona really stand out from other similar devices? Yeah, I think there are a few things. Um, so, so the size of Falcana. Falcana is it's, it's very, very small. It only weighs nine grams, which I think is about a third of an ounce. So it's, it's very, very small. Um, it's designed to be very, very comfortable for your dog as well. So we spent a lot of time making sure that the design is, is very, very streamlined with a, a dog's collar so that when your dog is asleep at home, the, the Falcana device isn't you know, rubbing on, on their neck. It's not squashing their windpipe or anything like that. It's very, very comfortable. So we made, we made sure that, uh, that we got that base covered. And then we also wanted to make sure it looked good because from, from our research of other devices out there for, for dogs and cats, we didn't really think any of them looked nice. And it's important if you're, if you're walking your dog to make sure that you know, you're happy and that your dog looks great. So we spent a reasonable amount of time making sure that our device looks nice as well. Great. So the benefits for activity monitors, we had already talked about um, you know, how it can monitor their activity level and how much water they're drinking and things like that. So if somebody came to you, because obviously technology um, is, it's not a must have, but um, certain things like this are, there are some great reasons to have them. Uh, if a pet parent came to you and said, geez, you know, I'm, I'm considering buying an activity monitor like Falcona, but, um, you know, we don't really have the extra money in our budget. What would you tell them are, are some of the best reasons for purchasing an activity monitor and specifically maybe Falcona in general? Yeah. So I think you, know, you mentioned sort of not having a, you know, a large budget to spend on, on something like this. Well, Falcona is, is not you know, tremendously expensive. We, we've spent a lot of time making sure that um, our price point is very affordable. Um, so, so currently we're we're selling uh, a Falcana on a pre-orders basis on Kickstarter, and the full system, including beacons, including the Falcana collar, and including the, the hub to charge it in, is only seventy-eight dollars. So it's not tremendously expensive, and in terms of our competitive position on pricing, we're, we're very competitive. Absolutely. Um, the the benefits. Um, that, that you get um, from Falcana. One is, is over the long term, reduced veterinary bills because you can identify signs of disease earlier and give more data to the vet when he's examining your dog. That helps to reduce veterinary bills. Certainly. Uh, and we all know how much those can be. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, just from, you know, early detection of, of, um, a common disease, you know, you could save yourself hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. That's right. And a good example is, is arthritis in dogs. And I, I keep mentioning arthritis and that's because roughly about 20% of dogs will develop arthritis over their lifetime. So it's, it's very, very common. Um, early treatment of arthritis is paramount in terms of maintaining you know, the dog's quality of life but also ensuring that you're not spending a lot of money on, on drugs and you know, even surgical type treatments. And by noticing an early onset in arthritis, which you often see as, as a reduced level of activity and your dog not running quite as quick as, as they used to, means that we can do, or vets can undertake much more, um, much more simple treatment, if you want to call it that, earlier on. So for example, um, we can make sure that the dog is the optimal weight because often we have you know, many obese dogs in the world and if, you're a, if your dog is obese and it's got arthritis, it's going to make the arthritis worse. So we can start to treat things earlier and reduce veterinary bills that way. Great. That's a, it's certainly, I think, you know, as far as talking about the, the budget and affording um, any kind of pet activity monitor, that certainly, I would think, would be a number one uh, reason for a lot of pet parents is, I mean, like you said, that's the savings over time could be really tremendous. Absolutely. And, you know, it's not just savings and it's not just you know, a veterinary benefit. There's tons of really fun, interesting stuff that you as a pet owner can get. Um, you, know, you can see how much activity your dog's getting. 
testing and we divide that activity not just sort of into active non-active but we take it down to the next level so we can um, differentiate running walking lying down sitting etc etc and then you can compare your dog um, with other dogs in the neighborhood to see you know if you've got a, a very athletic energetic dog or is yours more more sedate and then you can compare your dog with similar breeds so if you're comparing labradors you can compare labradors and see how your labrador compares with other labradors and then you can compare your dog with dogs in general and so there's lots of just generally useful fun insightful information that uh, you can get out of the falcana ecosystem definitely so all that the information to compare um is that all on the app can you look on the app and see dogs in your neighborhood or different dogs of the same breed? Yeah, exactly. So um, the app is, we've, dis- we've designed the app to be a very intuitive because I think it's often um, it's often easy to make an app very, very difficult and complex. And we've spent a lot of time making sure that our app is very simple to use, and very intuitive, but also has all the information at your fingertips should you need it. Um, so we we have a home screen where you, know, you get basic reminders. We have the ability for you to put in some specific dates into a calendar so you get alerts. So be that worming dates, vaccination dates, other dogs' birthdays and, and such like. So you can record all that. But you can also do this sort of comparison and you can uh, very simply sort of filter the data to, to understand how your dog can to, to other similar dogs. Well, for somebody like myself who is interested in technology but not super technologically savvy, uh, that is great news because, like you said, a lot of times, you know, I find apps that are a little bit overwhelming when you don't really know how to um, navigate through them, I guess, at first, and it takes some time. Um, so it's great to hear that you've taken the time to make sure that that's easy to use for us pet owners that aren't as tech savvy. That's <laughs> no, good to hear. It's good to hear. It's important to get the right balance with these apps because you need to make sure that they're, um, they're giving pet owners and vets the right information and what they need, but at the same time, you, you don't want to make them overwhelming. And for somebody like me, who we have three dogs, is there a way to monitor multiple dogs at once? Yes, absolutely. So uh, you, all you need to do is, is buy extra collar devices. You don't need to buy extra beacons. Um, and you can have as many collar devices in your, in your home um, as, as you would like. So it would work with three dogs. It will work with 33 dogs. And it all goes to the same app? Or do you need, is there like a different home screen for each dog? So you, you can, um, you can. So we don't combine all the dogs onto one home screen because that gets very, very complicated. Um, how it works? It's a little bit like uh, your Twitter account, for example, or your Instagram account, where you have a little button that you can flip between the different accounts. You can flip between the different dogs. Great. So it's super. Yeah. So it's super easy to check on all three of your dogs at the same time if you wanted to. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Great. So, and then um, if, and I'm going to link to the Falcona website too, so people can check that out in the Kickstarter link as well. Um, And on the website that, if people want to check that out, they will see the database that Falcona is building. So can you tell me a little bit about that database and how it's going to be used? Yeah, so of course what we're doing here is, is gathering data about your pet. And then that data is sent to the Falcona cloud. And that's where we can do all the comparisons of of your dog with other dogs. Um, And it's also where we run our algorithms to identify early signs of disease. And then what we can also use that database for is is epidemiology. So identifying how diseases are evolving in the pet world. So we can trace diabetes, let's use that as an example. We can identify diabetes in, in many situations, and then we can study that. And we can compare diabetic dogs in certain parts of the world, of different ages, of different breeds, and use that information to, to help further veterinary research and help further knowledge about diabetes in dogs so that veterinarians and researchers can 
start to look at some of those traits. And it's very hard to, to find that information at the moment at a sort of very hard, sort of global level. But you, they can use that information to help them with their research and, and hopefully improve the treatment of, of diseases in dogs. Yeah, that's amazing. That could have some some huge benefits on the veterinary field in the future. I think you're absolutely right. And we have uh, you know, good connections with a number of the world's leading uh, veterinary schools. And uh, it's something that they, they really struggle to get is, is good data that's at a, at a more global type level. It's quite easy for them to get data in terms of dogs coming into their local clinics. But if they want to look at something at a higher level, it, it's very hard today to get that data. And so using the Feldkiner ecosystem, um, we, can, we can help with that problem. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. You know, dogs are so great for so many reasons, but I think one of the best things about dogs is how different they all are within, you know, just the canine species. There's so many breeds, and even within breeds themselves, there's so many differences. So it's nice to have a way to get a lot of information on so many different dogs, like you said, not just necessarily in one area, but all over. So that's fantastic. Yes, we think so too. And so you had mentioned briefly that you're running the, the campaign on Kickstarter, um, and that is running for a few more days, right? That's right, yeah. So it, uh, it finishes on the 14th of December, so we've got 13 days left as of uh, today. So how is that going? It's going really, really well. Um, so we set ourselves a target of £25,000, and we are currently... Of the way towards that target, so we expect we'll reach it. Um, we've had a tremendous response from pet owners and specifically dog owners all around the world. We've had people in countries like Argentina, South Korea, New Zealand, the USA um, pledging towards Felpana on Kickstarter, and we've also had a lot of veterinarians too um, pledging Felpana, but also contacting us to say. Yeah, this is a really great product and you know, they want to trial it as soon as they can in their practice and they've even started to, to talk to some of their their patients and their patients owners about how they could uh, use use Falcana to, to help their dogs out so it's, it's, it's been tremendous it really has yeah absolutely I, I have no doubt you guys are going to hit that that mark in the next two weeks so that's really exciting for you absolutely absolutely it is yeah, we're really excited about about the whole opportunity that there is to, to improve you know, how people look after dogs and cats um, using technology. I think there's, there's a lot of great technology out there. Um, I think there's going to be some amazing new technology that we start to see coming out um, and being available in the next few years. And I think it's, it's only good for, for dogs and dog welfare and, and veterinarians. Absolutely. So if the Kickstarter, everything goes great, you guys make your goal, uh, what are the next steps after that? So yeah, as, as nearly everything on Kickstarter is, um, you know, we still have to tweak our products to a, to a small extent. Um, so we'll make a few refinements to it, nothing major, um, just a few tweaks around the edges to make sure it's absolutely perfect. And then we, then we need to start our production. And so we will, uh, in early 2017, start our manufacturing, um, start getting those production runs up and, up and ready to go, test those to make sure that they're, they're working well. And in parallel to that, we'll be using some of our beta testing um, devices to, to gather more input from pet owners and vets on exactly you know, what, what, we need to, what we need to do and, and any tweaks that we need to make to, to the app. So, so there's a real opportunity for anyone out there if they, if they want to you know, pledge towards us on Kickstarter for them to also help us with beta testing. And uh, you know, we're looking for beta testers that have you know, small dogs, large dogs in the USA, in, in wherever. So we want a big range of different, different pet owners so we can really you know, test Falcon out to its max and make sure it's absolutely perfect. Absolutely. And so if people, obviously, if they want to pre-order, if they want to get one of those to, to uh, have one of the initial uh, products that are coming out, 
they can jump on Kickstarter right now or anytime in the next couple of weeks and uh, donate there. And what are those donation levels and what will people receive? So um, we have uh, one, sort of what we call the uh, Super Early Bird uh, Falcana Pack, and that is uh, 78 US dollars. And in return for that, um, you will receive uh, one Falcana Helix Collar Device two micro locations to place micro location beacons to place around your home and the Falcana home hub to charge your, your Falcana devices in and you'll receive those in the summer of next year perfect that's um that's great so especially for just 78 dollars. and did you say the beacons they can be used outside if you wanted to put one out in your yard yeah absolutely yeah so you can uh, place one of those out in your yard if you want to do that the, the standard pack comes with two beacons, and that would typically be for a for an indoor use case. So you sure. can near your dog's water bowl or one um, near your dog's bed. Sure. Um, but there's also the facility to, to buy extra beacons. They come in, in pairs, so you can buy two extra beacons, and then you can start placing them around your yard. So you can put one in you know, the favorite place that your dog likes to spend his time in your yard to see when he's there. Or you can put one sort of by the tree if you didn't want it to go near a tree or, or whatever so you can get alerts if necessary about that yeah what a versatile tool that it's really exciting how how much you can do with uh you know just one falcona pack that's amazing yeah we think so we think so we spend a lot of time making sure it's it's really great and uh, yeah we, we think it's, it's amazing as well so you think early donators will receive their products maybe in the summer of next year do you have uh, maybe ballpark of when we might be seeing them on store shelves um, so we expect um, them to be on store shelves for Christmas next, next year, year. fantastic um, yeah the folks that, that back us on Kickstarter will get them they'll be the first people in the world to get them of course um, yep that's 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 really great but, but we hope to have them on, on the shelves in, in some retailers across the U.S. and, and Europe um, before Christmas next year. Yeah, sounds like it might be a really good uh, pet or pet owner Christmas gift for 2017. So that's exciting. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, the other thing in terms of sort of Christmas gifts, what we're we're about to launch our Kickstarter campaign is the, it's a special Belkana uh, Christmas card. It's quite a British tradition, I think, to give people Christmas cards. Um, so we've got a special Belkana Christmas card. So if anyone wants to, to pledge to Kickstarter right now, we'll get a Christmas card over to you before the 25th rather of December. Um, so you've got a little memento if you're giving the you know, Belkana Kickstarter pledge as, as a gift to someone. Of course, I have to thank James for speaking with me today. That was some really great information. And, you know, just to kind of highlight what he said about pet. Um, activity monitors and health monitors, you know, they're, they are a little bit more expensive than some parents maybe can afford right away, but it is a great thing to, you know, squirrel away some money for and um, purchase because it can really save you a lot of money in the long run on those vet bills. Um, and it can tell you a lot about your dog, which is great information to have, especially over the course of your dog's life. You can kind of see, um, you know, how his activity changes as he grows and develops. So um, you can learn a lot about your dog. Your vet will know a lot of information about your dog dog that you might not normally be able to give them in case that there is any health problems in the future. Um, and then, of course, just noticing and monitoring those changes, noting when any uh, signs or symptoms of some certain health issues can pop up, you know, uh, that preventative care or um, early detection with some of those diseases can really save you a lot in the long run and the health monitor is going to end up paying for itself. So uh, if you're interested in Falcona, jump on theoryofpets.com. You can find a link to their website. You can also find a link to their Kickstarter program. Uh, again, that stops on December 14th, which is not very far away. So um, if you're interested in that, you can get in on one of those, uh, be one of the first to receive one. And if not, be looking for those to hit store shelves 
themselves about this time next year. I will keep you guys updated on uh, any new developments. Like I said, the beta testing uh, should be happening throughout early and middle 2017. So uh, if there's any major changes or anything like that coming, I'll be sure to update that and uh, let you guys know. But um, I think as far as James mentioned, you know, just some small tweaks and uh, it's got so many great beneficial aspects that uh, it's pretty much going to be ready to go. So uh, put that on your Christmas list next year if you're a dog or cat owner. And uh, if you have a dog or cat owner on your list that has everything, it might be a great gift to think about. Uh, it's certainly much more affordable than many health monitors. So um, I think it'll it'll be a really great thing to uh, to see hit the market and see how well it does. So if you guys have any questions or comments, again, theoryofpets.com. You can type those out. You can record them. I might use them on a future podcast. Uh, any questions that you have or anything that you would maybe like me to delve into and find some information for, send those suggestions along. You can email me at any time. My email address is Samantha at topdogtips.com and I'm always excited to hear from you guys. Uh, don't forget to jump on iTunes and leave me a review. That really helps me when I'm trying to get guests on the show. So if you could do that, I'd appreciate it. And I will uh, be back next time with another great podcast episode for you guys. Have a great week.